This is Amsterdam, and in this video we are looking at the R formula. So this is basically where we can find equivalent forms for a cos theta plus b sine theta. And this can be written as either r sine theta plus or minus a or r cos theta plus or minus a. So the best way to look at this is by looking at a question. And this question says that 5 sine theta plus 12 cos theta is equal to r sine theta plus a. And what we have to do is find out what r is and we have to find out what a is. So then in order to do this, we're going to start by using the compound angle formula to expand the right hand side. And if you don't understand what the compound angle formula is, then do watch my last video as this talks all about it. But we're going to keep on with the left hand side being exactly the same for now. And we can say that 5 sine theta plus 12 cos theta is equal. And then here we're using the compound angular formula to say that r sine theta cos a and that is plus r cos theta sine a. So next step is to compare the coefficients of sine theta and cos theta. And as we can see, there is a sine theta here. There is also a sine theta there. That means that we can cancel those to say that 5 is equal to r cos a. Then we have a cos theta here and a cos theta there. That means that we can cancel those to say that 12 is equal to r sine a. And this is where we have to use a bit of a trigonometry. And we have to say that sine theta, so r sine a over r cos a is equal to just tan a. So that means that tan a is equal to 12 over 5. So we solve in that by doing tan minus 1 uh, to 12 over 5 means that a in degrees, we could work out in radius, but in degrees is going to be 67.4 degrees. So now we have our a, now we need to work out what r is. And we're going to go back to this step here where we've got the 5 is equal to r cos a and the 12 is equal to r sine a. And we're going to say that 5 squared plus 12 squared is equal to r squared and then we have the cos squared a plus sine squared a yet we know that that is equal to 1 cos squared a plus sine squared a is equal to 1 so therefore 5 squared um, plus 12 squared is equal to r squared. This means that 169 is equal to r squared. So therefore r is equal to 13. So that means our final answer, if we just put it back in, will be 13 sine and then theta plus 67.4 degrees. So the next question contains some maximum and minimum values. And we need to know that the maximum value of both the sine and the cos graph is equal to 1. And then the minimum value of both the sine and the cos graph is equal to minus 1. And that's because of a curve. So for example, if you were to draw the sine curve, we've got like that there. That's going to be 1 at the top minus one at the bottom and that will come in uh, when we look at the second part of this question but the first part is exactly the same as what we're looking at however we're just going to have an r cos theta minus a instead of a sine which just means when we do the compound angle formula it's going to be slightly different so working this out we can say that five cos theta plus sine theta is equal and then here we have the compound angle formula and we're going to say 
are cos theta cos a then it's going to be plus r uh, sine theta and then sine I'm calling it a it is alpha but we'll carry on with just calling it a so there we are. Now we have to um, find what a is out of that. Um, and again, we're going to have to compare the coefficients here. So we have a cos theta there. We've got the cos theta there. That means that 5 is equal to r cos a. And then we've got a, that would be a 1 in front of that if there was a number, which means that 1 is therefore going to be equal to r sine a. So that means that tan A is going to be equal to a fifth. Therefore, A is going to be equal to 0 0.197. And you can see the question clearly asks for it in radians as we have it between uh, 0 and pi over 2, which means that they're looking for it in radians. So next, we have to work out what r is. Um, in order to do that, we've got that 1 squared there. 1 squared plus 5 squared is equal to r squared. That means that r squared is equal to root 26. 20 is equal to 26, and then r is equal to root 26. Therefore, we can just put it back into the original thing. So that root 26 cos and then theta minus 0 0.197. So the second part of this question is looking at the minimum value. And we know from this, the minimum value here of both the sine and the cos graph is equal to minus 1. So that means that we can basically replace uh, the cos with minus 1. So that means that what we've got is root 26 times by minus 1. But then we also have this. In the original one, we've just got 5 cos theta plus sine theta. This one, we've got 5 cos 4x plus sine 4x. Uh, again, that theta is basically that. But then we also have a add 15 at the end. That means that we also have to add 15. So that means that that is equal to minus root 26 plus 15. And that is our minimum value of that there. Here we have our final question. There's three parts to this question. Uh, slightly harder, but we'll be able to whiz through the first part fairly quickly as we've already seen two examples of this. So that means that A, we have got uh, 2 oops, sine x minus 3 cos x. And then obviously the compound angle formula we're going to get then because it's r sine x minus a then what we're going to get is r r sine x and then sine uh, cos a then it's going to be minus r cos x sine a So now we've got that, we can compare the coefficients, sine x there, sine x there, therefore we know that 2 is going to be equal to r cos a. We also know that therefore minus 3 is going to be equal to uh, minus r sine a, so that means that just 3 is going to be equal to r sine a. Therefore, we've got that r sine a over r cos a means that tan a 
is equal to 3 over 2 and therefore a is equal to 0 0.983 Then we've got to get the R, we're just going to have to do the uh, 2 squared plus 3 squared is equal to R squared. So therefore R squared is equal to 13. And then R is equal to root 13. So next one, it says, hence find the greatest value of 2 sine x minus 3 cos x, and it's squared, and find the smallest possible value of x for which the maximum occurs. So two parts in this question. Um, first part we're going to need to do is the greatest value, and we know that that's going to be, sine is going to be equal to 1 for that. Um, so that means that we can say root 13 because we have the root 13 there then this would be um, times by the um, the x minus uh, 0.983 so it's going to be root 13 times by 1 and that is just root 13 However, obviously, um, it says squared in the question, so that means that we are going to have to square this um, to get 13. And that is the greatest value of that. So the second part of this question is asked to find the smallest positive value of x for which this maximum occurs. And that means that we know that root 13 sine and then x minus 0.983 that's all squared that is going to be equal to 13 because we've just worked out that is the maximum point so therefore we'll square root both sides and that will give us root 13 sine x minus 0.983 is equal to root 13 so that means that we're going to get sine x minus 0.983 is equal to 1 therefore we could do sine minus 1 to the 1 is equal to x minus 0.983 so that is going to be equal um, to a half pi therefore x is equal to 2.554 and that's only one value because it asks for the smallest positive value of x final question we have then is just about solving um, this equation and we can do that by using what we've already found out so we know that it's going to be root 13 sine and then we've got the x minus 0.983 that is equal to 1 because it says that in the question there therefore sine x minus 0.983 is equal to 1 over root 13 then we've got the sinus uh, sine minus 1 to the 1 over root 13 so we know that x minus 0.9 a three is equal to zero point two eight one. This is in radians, remember, as it does ask for in radians. 
and then also 3 2.86 sorry therefore x is equal to 1.264 and 3.8 Four, three. Those are our two answers to that. So that is a slightly more difficult question with uh, multiple layers involved. But thank you for watching and see you soon. Bye.